Ahoy, and welcome to a guide on how to get S plus rank in professional difficulty in the Resident Evil 4 remake. Some notes before we start. Resident Evil 4 has a lot of fixed elements and a lot of random elements. So we're going to give you some fixed strategies where we can, we're going to give you general strategies where we can't, and we're also going to try to point out where your experience can diverge from what you're seeing here. This particular route is going to lean on the Chicago Sweeper most heavily. It's also going to depend on Ashley having armor to protect her. To have these, this means you're going to have to have beaten professional difficulty with an A rank already. The easiest way to do that is to beat the game normally on a preferred difficulty, and then play a new game plus on Professional using the Infinite Rocket Launcher. You should have no problem clearing it in seven hours with that available. Uh, depending on your comfort and how much money you have, you may want to do another run between those two just to get some more cash so you can start Professional with the Rocket Launcher. Other than that, the accessories that you get for doing S plus on the other difficulties can be helpful. Uh, whether you use the wolf tail, the deer antlers, or the chicken hat, uh, if you have them, is largely up to your preference. I personally prefer and will be using the deer antlers for increased knife damage. We will be also using the deluxe edition weapons briefly and the treasure map in this run, but they're not essential requirements. Not having them might delay some weapon upgrades, but you'll still have plenty of opportunities for cash. So, the ground rules. To get an S plus rank on professional, you must start a new game, you must beat the game in under five hours and 30 minutes, and you have to save 15 times or less. I will be giving you my preferences for save spots, but you can flex them to your comfort. And the last note before we begin, as you may already know, if you die, and you will probably die, do not continue or do not load game from the you are dead screen. Quit to the menu and load your save from there. If you don't, the time you spent leading up to that death is added to your total game time. In fact, all time that you spend in the game other than paused or between chapters has a ticking clock. So try not to spend too much time in your inventory or in the merchant menus. And if you don't already know where your inventory auto sort button is, find it and love it. However, we are going to be finishing with 70, 70 minutes to spare. So don't feel too rushed, just you don't want to dawdle. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start our game. We're going to be starting a new game again since S Plus requires it. But before we do that, let's check our extras menu. And let's make sure we've got Armored Ashley queued up and our preferred Leon accessory. You can swap that accessory around mid-run if you want, but I won't be bothering with that. So, new game. Professional. Here we go. Right, be sure as you go along that you're skipping all your cutscenes as well. We don't need to be waiting for those. How far could he have gone? Opening should be pretty easy and familiar to you by now. My uh, button prompts look at all funny to you. It's just because I use an alternate keyboard layout sometimes. Don't let that distract you. Skip that, grab the key, spin around, oh, good. head downstairs. OK, 
Coming up, we're gonna try to dodge the uh, redead zombie guy here. Hanging out by the wall. He's gonna spot us through it and kind of get hung up on the wall. Back up, spin around, get out of the reach of his second lunge, and you can just walk right past him. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, you can get behind a table and try to unload your whole weapon into him. It really does take like every shot in your clip to do it, though. Grab the herb, and we're off. Unload on that crow just to get your frustrations out early. Readying your knife and attacking with a straight stab is the fastest way to break containers, so try to get familiar with that. We're going to switch to the gunpowder case and equip the uh, healing charm there. We're also going to put away our pistol and knife that we came with, get out the primal knife, the sentinel nine, and skull shaker, and the sweeper. If you don't have the DLC, or the... Uh, Deluxe edition weapons, just keep your regular pistol and ignore the skull shaker. Shoot another crow, grab some handgun ammo. Under here, another box behind the tree. And then we're just gonna run, kind of holding to the left. Stick to the left wall here so you miss a bear trap. Once you see the cabin, you're good to just bolt to the front door. Ignore that guy there and head on around. Grab the green herb. Say hello to this nice lady just doing her chores. She's fine. Right. This box, now I'm going to show you a very specific pattern that I loop through the village. It works for me. It's not foolproof, but it works. So I'm going to swing wide here, but then into the through the barn. Stab this box and go around the fence. Sometimes the woman here is, is there waiting for you, but that's okay. Duck in here, grab this box. Back. Have your skull shaker ready if you got it. Otherwise, you can ignore this part. We're gonna just use up the two shotgun shells that came with it. Try to get in at least one kill. Hop down. Get in a few pistol pot shots as they're trying to come over. Once they're up and about, that's fine. Run away. And kind of loop around to the left a little bit to give them a chance to catch up. Because we want a few following us as we go into this barn. Take out the lantern, set the barn and the cow on fire. Hopefully that will take out another one or two of them. The goal here is to kill 15 enemies to end the timer. And we're going to do that with the help of our new best friend, the hand grenade. Sometimes you get mob coming out of that window, sometimes you don't. Just do your best. Head for the tower. Once you get up there, turn around, but don't move any further in. As long as you stay right at the top of the ladder, the floor won't break. So your goal here is just to shoot these guys down as they're climbing the ladder. It usually takes about three bullets each. Watch your reload time. It's pretty long. So we're trying to get a pile of them there, and your cue is when you get the cutscene for Dr. Salvador the Chainsaw Guy. It means you killed about five of them. Once you get this, either through quick switch or in the case, switch to a grenade, toss it down, and be sure to aim high or it'll get caught on the ladder and you'll blow your foot off. Jump down right away and just try to get out of here take a big hit you know what it's okay if you die try again shake it off heal up and we're gonna go for the shotgun house now 
I'm just gonna try to make a break for that. The goal here is to get in, get the shotgun, and there's another guaranteed grenade. Then loop around the top, get back up the tower, build up another crew, and throw another grenade down. And hopefully between the two of those events, that's enough to trigger the cuts. And as you're about to see, I got super lucky. In this particular run, okay, when you pick up the shotgun, you'll probably have to send your skull shaker to storage, that's fine. I'm not using it anymore. So I grab that shotgun. Guys are coming in already. Introduce them to your shotgun. Grab the shells that are on the bed. Get out and go for the tower. If you see a really good crowd down there, you can try your grenade right away. But as you can see, Dr. Salvador caught a guy for me and that just happened to be the last kill I needed. So that was very fortunate. So after the cutscene, you're going to want to run around, grab whatever you can that dropped from dead guys. Before you leave, you're also going to want to get the herb out of the tower. Uh, up here, there's a velvet blue. Grab that as well. Don't worry too much about picking the village clean. We're going to be back here at least twice more. But that herb in particular, useful to grab now. Loot the three shacks on the way out of town. One's got a box, one's got a ruby, and one's got handgun ammo. You don't have to stab that to collect it. You can just collect it. I want you to know that. Gonna do this first part here stealthily. There it is. Go on in, get the first container. And then we're gonna say hi to a couple of nice farmers in the area. Here. She's fine. this box. Stab this pillar for no reason. I'm kidding, there's a medallion there. You can get it through it with the knife. Say hi to this old gentleman. He's also fine. We're gonna shoot down this treasure. Make sure to do it when it's on the right side of the windmill so it doesn't get dirty. Poke your head in the little barn. Like that. Go around behind for a container that always has a hand grenade. out and stab this blue medallion. Yes, two more to go. Come around here and on the right side of the door through this window you can see the lock on the door and we're gonna shoot it off from the outside. It does take a little practice and a little bit of precision but there we go we got it. On the left, you're going to grab a ruby, a box, a knife, and then the cog. Do it quickly. Don't equip the kitchen knife like I did. Keep using your primal knife. The camera's going to pull down on you to highlight the guy coming in. God, do your best to look up and shoot the blue medallion, but then go out the back. We want to kind of loop him around and get him following us. through here. Duck. I ducked a little early, but yeah, don't risk it. Grab the yellow herb. Start climbing up the ladder. Listen to that satisfying explosion. Shotgun shells. Take care of the cog and the switch. And get ready to head behind the windmill. Head out the back door. 
hop on down. Shoot the medallion. Get some containers back here. Grab the flagon. Knife the door to break the lock, and then we're out of here. Now there's two sets of two containers on the way out. If you can hear that nobody's right on your heels, stop and grab them. But if you're being chased really close, just run. So here's the second set. You get here, you're pretty good. Uh, once you start the animation, you can't get hurt. As soon as it's done, you can, so bolt it. It's possible to get unlucky there, but it's easier than fighting all those guys. Switch to your shotgun. That container, take the right path. Um, use your shotgun to ask this lady to move out of the way. And uh, once she responds politely, just keep on going. You reload your shotgun, but then switch to the sweeper. The sweeper is your stunner. A couple of bullets will usually stun an enemy and let you get by them. The shotgun is for moving them out of your way. So we're going to pull out the sweeper. Hopefully we won't even have to use it here if you just kind of watch what I'm going to be doing. First we're going to disarm this. Grab this stuff. If you're running low on space, um, you see here I'm going to craft. Crafting is good because it uses up your resources. If you have too many, well, hold on here. So you're going to zigzag around the bear trap, back to the left, and then right again. So keep the, the throwing axes out of your way. Sometimes you can get past that guy. He got me with the fork. That's okay. Knife the door and get in. Once you're in, you're fine. So I'll grab the powder, disable the explosives, and grab the last chest here. Um, the game gives you what you don't have. Send your shotgun to storage. If you run out of space, you're going to need that space later anyway. We'll, we'll get it back before we need to use it. So if you're not using your crafting resources, you're not going to get more of them. Use them as you get them. First, you might want to get some shotgun shells. Mostly, we want to be using the gunpowder to make TMP ammo early on. And so we're not going to use the small resources very often, mostly the large resources. We can say hi to that guy who was working on his basement. Hop on down and um, investigate the giant larva down here, or whatever it is. The big moving bag. Okay, chapter one clear. Now I'm sure that getting through the village probably took you more than one try. It's tough, but between chapters, you can always take a moment to inspect your inventory. Uh, craft anything if you'd like, sort anything around, the time here does not count. So feel free to take a breather before moving on, but don't save here. As I was saying, you might be feeling kind of relieved that you've finally made it through all that. The stealth section at the start of this isn't terribly risky, and it's good to get through that and then save. So, skip cutscenes, skip talking to Hunnigan, grab your herb run up and around and grab your knife. This is one section where having the antlers really helps. Just just the ones, but it makes a big difference. So, stealth kill this guy. He's fine. Grab a spare knife. This guy, we're just going to run up to and knife him in the face. If you're lucky, two, three kills, he goes down. He won't even get a chance to attack you. If not, well, you take a hit. Take a minute and kill this rat. They always run in circles, so it's kind of easy to track where they're going to be. Grab the ammo in the furnace here. Um, don't be an idiot. Grab the sapphire in the other furnace as well. I missed it. Spring the bear trap there, and then kill this other rat. Hop over, crouch. Hop over, stab, and then back up and kill the third rat. There we go. It's 
already two requests done. We are trying to build up enough spinels so that we can unlock infinite ammo for the Chicago Sweeper. So we have totally cleared the path of bad guys and traps, just bolt for the door. And here's where you needed to send your taking these back. shotgun to storage because you would never have to pick up all that stuff otherwise, most likely. It's okay, we're about to buy a Baker case. Who's that? Grab that container. More machine gun ammo, love to see it. Lit. Grab the rifle ammo, we're gonna sell it. And you should have two rubies. You can put those in the flagon right now. Do sell that sucker off. Then. Welcome. <laughs> nice. So we're gonna do some selling. Got some rare things on some sale. Key pennant, velvet blue flagon. Sell your original handgun. Ruby's all rubbish. You make sell the primal knife. You can, oh. If you have a kitchen knife that's almost broken, sell that's one of them. I sometimes end up with an extra Sentinel Nine in storage. Sell it. Skull shaker. Sell it. More than one resource. Sell it. Buy the case upgrade. Any time. Then you're going to get your shotgun and your combat knife out of storage. Okay. Welcome. Got a selection of good things. <sighs> you're going to get your shotgun and your combat knife out of storage. Okay. Welcome. So we're going to put two durabilities onto the knife and one power onto the shotgun. See how that feels, mate. This is my recommendation. Spend your money how suits you best. And then once you got that done, load it up, you're going to do your first save. Congrats. Now I am going to give you my best strat for this upcoming section, but it can go haywire, and that's why we saved. Uh, we have another old lady we need to ask to move here. If she doesn't die to the shotgun, finish her off because you don't want her waiting for you on your exit. Make sure she dies and doesn't reanimate before you move on. Switch to your handgun. If you have the extended treasure map, you're going to shoot down the spinel that's over here. And then this old guy's got some dynamite and we want to introduce it to a bullet. Even if you just kill him without exploding the dynamite, just having him out of the way can save you some grief later. Once those two things are done, switch to your sweeper, jump on down. <coughs> this container, stun this guy. And get ready to stun an old lady coming this way. He recovered quickly, no big deal, we move on. Spin around, pop the barrel. Grab the spinel. Head in, switch to your shotgun, and grab this small key. This next area just gets really dangerous with dynamite, and basically, you can get unlucky and turn into a fine red mist. That's what we saved for. Grab the emblem. See, there we go. Took a hit. It's cool. It's cool. We're fine. Carry on. Move anyone out of your way with the shotgun if you have to. If you can feel like you can just press on past them and get lucky, cool. Once you get around here, switch back to your sweeper. Tap that barrel for any followers. You want to get up here past anybody at the front? That was a nice parry. Pop this barrel. Past them if. The guy up there dropped dynamite and wait for it to blow up before you go through, but otherwise... Get the door. Hop on down. If there's a lady coming out of the cabin down here, be a gentleman, let her out first, then hop in and grab the yellow herb and the first aid spray, knife the door, and you're on your way. If nobody's in your way, you made it. Start reloading. Good to press on. Congratulations. Uh, again, that section might take you a couple tries. It's okay. We're going to go back in the factory and use that small key we picked up. Yep. Oh, nothing. 
about to find this way. So nothing terribly dangerous for a little while, which is why we're going to be able to press on without saving. You should know this by now, but the solution there is to rotate left once and then flip. There's three enemies in the next section, and we want to take them out. Um, otherwise, it makes the section after a little dicier. So you can usually stealth kill one, but while you're doing that, the second one usually spots you. Oh, in the face. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes you get lucky and that old lady gets caught on a bear trap. I did not get lucky. If you knock her down, don't be an idiot. You hear that? That means I was an idiot. I could have knifed her, but she got back up because I didn't wait to see if she was dead and I had to waste two shotgun shells on her. Be better than draw. Shoot down the treasure if it's there for you. That's an expanded one. Hang along the left, grab the handgun ammo, sneak down here and grab the large resources. Might be your first one. Barrels and a sapphire. Feel free to use those resources right away to craft some more submachine gun ammo. Save you a little space and start building that up. That ammo is going to help us out a lot in the back half of the first seven chapters. Six chapters. There's usually a crow there. There wasn't for some reason. I shot that crow instead. Alright. Um, I went too far forward here. You should stop at that barrel. Stop at that barrel. Shoot down the treasure. Shoot that pole. Shoot that treasure. And if you did it at the barrel instead of as far forward as I went, it won't trigger the chainsaw guy. Uh, I antagonized him. And then I got lucky. He got his foot caught in a bear trap. You should just be able to go up here. He'll see you. You can run past him on his left. Duck under this while he lunges forward. And then just keep going. Watch out for the bear traps. And if you're far enough ahead of him... There's that There's that explosion sound. Very satisfying. And grab these barrels as you go by. Get the drawer here for another ruby. Check the oven. Too shabby. Fresh eggs. Showing up their neighbors. Who bakes a single egg? Who bakes eggs in the shell? Grab whatever is in here. Grab a hand grenade, potatoes, and then set the lock to wheat pig bait. Grab your marbles. Head to the dining room table. You can just loop around him like that. Get the red herb at the top. And for the marble, we're going to pull it forward and then spin it around. And that should just about do it. You do not need to pull this lever. We're not coming back here. I don't know what I was thinking. Grab the key and that's chapter two done. As before, you can take a minute to organize your storage on these chapter screens. Craft anything you like. It doesn't count against your time. And uh, as you can see here, I'm finally going to take time to put my weapons on the shortcuts I prefer. Alright, pressing on. No save yet. Nothing truly dangerous coming up for a while, so we can wait. 
get out the front door and rescue the puppy. You too, huh? single container in this little cabin if you want to grab it. It's a hand grenade, totally worth it. Fun fact, if you can shoot down this guy before he gets away, the dog attack won't trigger. We don't even need to bother because we're not sticking around for the dogs. So we're going to head straight forward to the house right ahead. If a bird is dumb enough to land in front of you, introduce it to the knife. Use your next small key here. Grab the vintage compass. Stop. You can get a little closer than this, but we're going to shoot the lock off that door so that we can go right in after the tower explodes before any dogs show up. Go into the right. Explode that because sometimes that'll kill the woman in the next room, but have your shotgun ready if not. And if you're really just unprepared, you get axed on that. So be more careful than me. It's fine. You gotta have a reason to use yellow herbs anyway. Get that guy out of your way. You could just TMP him. Sweeper, whatever. And head into the church. Not the church. Meeting hall? First container here on your left has a snake, so stab it twice. Take the viper with you. Loot, loot, loot. Shoot down the velvet blue. Grab the shotgun shells in the drawer. Do some more looting. Got some new wares, stranger. So we're gonna stop and buy the flash gr Hey, Leon. Leon. I said we're gonna stop and buy the flash grenade recipe here. Welcome. If you want, you I could also sell the one viper you. you picked up. We've been so pleasant if you're worried about space. It's up to you. Not really needing to sell anything else. There's a bird's nest along the way that you can shoot down. We're not gonna pick it up yet. Um it's it's further forward. No, Leon, you missed it. Turn around. There, there you go. But it'll be there later when you come back to pick up. This rifle ammo, so we would just sell it anyway. The church. I made it. Say hello to this guy doing his job. And stab the two insignias on this tombstone. There you go. Come back down here, and there's an expanded treasure there. Head on up to the church. Skip your cutscenes, and then as you turn around to your right, there's another expanded treasure. Alright, the next section is pretty consistent. So you shouldn't need to worry about saving here, but this is a potential spot for your second save. We're going to push ahead and be a little riskier, but it's up to you. So you're going to kind of head straight out in towards the building, serpentine back out to the right, back towards the ladder. That should avoid the fire and the throwing axe. Just run straight ahead. This first guy will duck to let the other guy throw. The other guy's too busy throwing. Tap that guy before you jump down or he'll grab you. If you're really lucky, he falls off. Again, use the shotgun to ask these guys to move. And once you're past them, disable that. Head on in. After you reload your shotgun, switch to the hand grenades. We're gonna feed the crows. 
We use a hand grenade here because we get one back. And flash grenades are very valuable, so throw that. We're gonna take down the dog straight ahead. And then watch for the dog coming from the left. Nice miss. Really? Come on, Leon, you've done this before. So grab all the treasures that the crows dropped and you shot down. And carry on. This is another spot where you could save instead if the fish farm gives you grief. I never have a problem getting through there, as you're going to see, but it's up to you. The closer you can save to Del Lago for me, the better. Pop on through here, grab the hex piece in this chest. Pretty specific path line that you can walk in here, run in here, that'll get you out pretty safely most of the time. Again, if, if it gives you grief, you can save before this. It just means you can't save again before Del Lago. And if you die in Del Lago, then you gotta do this again. Your choice. Shit. God damn it. Leon language. So hang out to the left here, swing wide, and you'll get past these two ladies. Straight up this ramp. Swing around. Disable the explosives. Jump down. If you made it this far, switch to your shotgun. Because you're going to need to ask people to move. Knife the door. Grab the egg and the gas. And on your way out, there's probably going to be people trying to come in. Lucky you can get out in one shot. It took me three. Oh, no. She really wanted to say hi. It's okay. Just head straight for the ladder and up. Oh, lucky shot. You're gonna hug the right wall up here so that the guy with the bolt thrower doesn't see you. Until you hop down right in front of his face. On the other side of the rock, head up the ramp. usually just swing by all these guys, but you might take a hit. It's okay. Stopping to stun them is usually more dangerous than just trying to run past them. And once you're down there, you're home free. So, if you made it that far and you haven't saved yet, now is when you do save. Head back into the merchant's hideout. You notice I haven't reloaded my pistol in a while. That's because it holds 19 rounds, and we're not going to be using it much before we trash it. So, kind of after the quarry, after the dogfight at the quarry, you probably don't need to reload it. And this will be save number two. It's a request done and dusted, eh? Good stuff. Let's go see if the fish is being kind today. Before you get in the boat, don't worry about the cabins down here. We're going to loot them later. You don't really need that stuff right now. But we are going to turn around and get this medallion. Gas up. Be sure you brought your beer and your tackle. We're going fishing. Not a whole lot to say about Del Lago. 
you haven't noticed, the longer you hold the aim button, the further Leon's going to throw that spear. But when you're up close, it hardly matters. Uh, when he goes under, kind of going straight, veer off to the side because he's about to dive right back at you. Otherwise, do your best to kind of follow his path to avoid obstacles. And if you've done him enough times, you kind of get a feel for his patterns. Like right now, I know he's about to give me the middle of the lake sort of losing me maneuver. Then he'll pop up and give me a chance to hit him once or twice. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? If you do ever get a chance to hit one of those floating barrels, um, yep, that's inside. If you do ever get a chance to hit one of those floating barrels, it's it's a thousand percent is nothing to sneeze at. So yeah, usually after that encounter, then you're gonna have to start dodging obstacles. Try to see which side of them he's going on and drift to that same side. Otherwise, you might not have enough slack to make it. Again, dive like that means he's popping up again. See, he's going to the outside of these, so I'm swinging to the left. Inside. Something loca. This is where it gets really tricky because he starts splashing a lot and it's hard to see the obstacles coming. So just do your best to keep your eyes open. But like this, didn't see that coming in time. And this, didn't see that coming in time either. Take another hit like that. It's okay, I don't think he can take another hit like that. Oh, there he goes. Alright, once again, we're just gonna check our storage. Don't see anything worth crafting or combining. Yeah, I thought about making some shotgun shells, changed my mind. I wanna save that gunpowder for other stuff, so. We are not going to save again until before we fight the Gigante. There's really no point. There's one combat encounter in this whole section, so. Smash the barrel, open the cabinet, grab the gun... Grab the gunpowder. Grab Leon, grab the gunpowder. There is a container out here, and then hang left as you go out to catch the red herb. After crawling through here, you're going to hold the left, and then after the cutscene triggers and you have control again, you're going to dash right. Swing to the far right here, do a close left past this guy, and you're going 80% of the time it works every time. Hmm. 
What is this place? Crouch on through here and just some kind of carry on until you get your way shrine key. Now we're going to go ahead and get the only real combat section out of the way first. So head to the left, this first dock here. Keep your TMP handy, if your sweeper handy, use this TMP at all. You don't have to grab these two barrels. The next barrel is essential because it's a guaranteed flash grenade. You definitely want that. Hey. And it's a box, not a barrel. No. I would try to get by without sending your shotgun to storage at this point, but... That guy usually stands there and lets you blow up his dynamite if he doesn't. Just try to weave past these guys. Hang left here. The left, then right to avoid the thrown axe. This guy will let you right past him. You should be able to stab these barrels and get up the ladder with plenty of time. Solution here is upper left, bottom, upper right. Doesn't matter what order you push him in. Grab this guy's head. At the bridge up here, you want to shoot down a treasure and then jump off. Honestly, I would recommend shooting down the treasure and jumping off the opposite side that I did. But so I would turn around before you're jumping down. It's fine. Grab the treasure, grab the yellow herb. Take a shovel to the face if you're not doing so well. It's cool. Thought about not healing here. Decided that was a really bad idea. And we're just gonna weave through these guys. They're a little preoccupied. But yeah, just kind of force your way out of there. Take damage, it's okay. We got a lot of free healing items coming up. And that's it. You can press on. We're safe until the next save. Just a lot of collecting to do. So we'll get out here. Shoot down that treasure. Our shrine key. Yes, yes, it's raining, Leon. It's cool. Barrels quick. Get everything. Hop back in the boat and carry on to the right. Your other right, the one that goes left. As you come out here, you're gonna just head straight across the lake to the lantern. As you can see here, I briefly considered going to the fishing area. Totally not worth it. Just head straight across the lake to the torches. Smash the barrels if you want. You got time. over here to where the merchant used to live. Arrows. Solution to this one is left, bottom left, bottom right. Grab the other head. Ammo, the container, your other hex piece. Climb up the ladder and stab down the treasure. Or shoot it down, it doesn't matter. You got bullets to spare. Get 
whatever's in here. And if you got expanded treasure, shoot that down. And one last container. Alright, on to the chicken ranch. Two white eggs, one brown egg, one gold egg laying on the ground. If you want to stare at the chickens to try to make more eggs, you can. I've been told if you stare at a chicken for 30 seconds and it doesn't drop an egg, it's not going to drop an egg. And don't forget the velvet blue. Now we're going to veer right and head to the derelict in the middle of the lake. This prompt is easy to miss, so slow down for it. Two chests and a container on the boat. Let me take care of all that. If you're out of room, throw your handgun to storage as you pick up the red nine. We're done with it. Red nine is our new best friend. Also send your Chicago typewriter to storage. You're going to need that space in a minute. And there's no more combat left here, so we're good. Over your left, over here, look for the big shadow in the water, sticking out of the water. Pick that baby up. Head back in the cave to drop off the heads you picked up. You have to look at the shrine first, then you can put the heads in place. Um, bonus points in the comments. The first person who can tell me the difference between a blasphemer and an apostate. Mark from the church. Still not done though. We got some more work to do. This time we're going to veer a little right and head straight across. Don't worry about picking up what's down here. We're coming back down in a few minutes. So up the ladder, and we're going to sell a few things. Well done! You've proven yourself. Any non-combined treasures, toss them. New for you. Gold egg, bass, Ruby's viper. She makes no difference. Can also sell your Sentinel Nine. That's our choice to make. I guess I'll do that later. Sell your extra resources and your rifle ammo. Take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Now we're going back to the fish farm, which is deserted at this point. Which is why we ignored everything the first time we ran through. We got plenty of time to make a second trip back there and pick everything up. So this time we're going to take the far entrance up the little ramp. Whatever's in this barrel, loot this hut and get that medallion, hand grenade. Come around on this side for another medallion. And swing around this structure for some treasure. You can stab down this treasure, but it's kind of fickle, so just shoot it. Be on the lookout for vipers in the water. You need to get at least two before you leave here. There's one. And if you see any fresh, delicious fish that you want to get, feel free to go fishing for those two. They're 
free heals, but they do kind of take up a lot of space. Do not walk into the tripwire trying to kill a viper. That would be stupid. Head up past that explosive you destroyed before, jump down, and loop back under the bridge. Last medallion, and get the last hex piece. We're going to come back out and go in the cottage we ignored the first time. Oop, the viper. I'll take that. Okay, Leon, that's, that's the one we were in before. We don't need that one. We need this one. Small key. Whatever's in there. And then we're ready to make our way back out. Do you want to get any more containers you see on the way? That's totally fine. Now we're going to hop down at the boat landing and loot all that stuff as well. If you made it out of the cave encounter low on health, don't heal because you can get plenty of free healing there that you can just use up. Grab the yellow herb, whatever else is there. Put your hex pieces in. The solution here is on the right twice, on the left twice, on the top once. If you are feeling low on healing items before the Gigante fight, feel free to take the boat around to the, the various docks and spear up some bass, but only do that after you've loaded up all your weapons so you know how much space you have left. You really should be okay. Leon, really? Uh, you want to hopefully have at least two flash grenades, a full clip of sweeper ammo, and plenty of handgun bullets. But you can see back there, plenty of fish in the lake if you need them. If you feel like loading up on inventory space. I could, but I'm not gonna. So we're gonna do some selling, some buying, some tuning up after we hop down here and clear this space out and get the treasure. I think I was hoping to get one more large resource drop, and I did not. <clears throat> but what are you going to do? So let's fill in a few of our treasures. Request done oh wait, sorry. There, see, you could see I forgot, even as I was playing. We're going to come up here and get the butterfly lamp first. Butterfly lamp, you can do sapphires. Should have enough of those. Ah, a job well done deserves payment in kind. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Your valuables won't do you. Sell much. two more vipers, all of them if you want. If you didn't sell the Sentinel 9 before, you can do that now. Sell any rifle ammo. I'm just going to start selling all my small resources. Go 
Odyssey. Might want to take care of any leftover. <laughs> well done. You've proven you should have 24 spinels at this point. Buy the case upgrade. Get out your sweeper and your shotgun again. Okay, so now I've got my two flash grenades. I'm in good shape. Welcome. So we're going to add two power to the knife for the gun. We're going to add two power to the handgun. We're going to add a power to the sweeper. Also going to do the reload speed and rate of fire here. Not 100% necessary, but useful. Came into some other bits in Bob's too, mate. Willed it. If you don't have the expanded treasure map, you might only have 23 spinels. It's okay. So we're going to make sure we're all reloaded up. Everything's set. Ready for the fight. Everything is shortcutted to the right spots. And then finally, we are going to save. Number three. Take on the big guy. Get a grenade ready. And trigger the cutscene. We're gonna grenade him. And then we're gonna switch to the TMP. Chicago sweeper. Dead thing. We're gonna unload a whole clip in his face. Don't stop like I did. That would be stupid. gonna throw a flash grenade on top of his head and you're gonna make sure that your combat knife is the knife equipped for this fight I did not mention that earlier Come on down and that should be enough to trigger the dog feel free to loot the cabin hey it's that dog stand right next to the cabin here. He won't hit you with it when he picks it up. Because he is going to be distracted by the dog, not perfectly, but distracted, we're going to use our red nine to damage him down to the next pop out of his parasite. He's a pretty big target. Hard to miss. Red nine damage is pretty good right now. Rears up like that, you get out of the way. Oh, we're gonna take a hit. There it is. That's fine. Heal up. Always use your yellow herb cocktail first if you got it. When you get this cutscene. Switch to your sweeper and make sure it's reloaded. Follow him down. Let the whole clip fly into his parasite. Don't get too close, because when he gets up, he will do damage. Now we're going to throw our second flash grenade onto his back. I should bring him down once more. At this point, he is pretty much done. I'm gonna let our red nine do the last bit of work for us. Just gotta get a couple hits in on his parasite, and we're good to go. Oop, yep, get out of the way. That yeah, brought him down pretty fast. You know, one more knife attack, he was done. Easy. 
only took one hit. That was almost a pancake. Okay. So let's get to that church. Loot the place, including where he was sleeping, because there's a velvet blue in there. Anything you didn't get from the cabins. And I don't care how much of a hurry you're in, I don't care how big of a rush, whatever, doesn't matter. You come over here and you say thank you. Thanks, bud. Don't think the dog run invalid. Make sure all your guns are reloaded and head on back this way. Switch to your shotgun. We're gonna do a little looting that we missed out on when we ran through this area before. Especially up here, there is a guaranteed hand grenade in this box. Switch back to your kitchen knives if you want. The viper here. Okay, the plan for this dog is to shotgun him to the ground and stab him. You do not want to let him get his parasite out, because if he does, he gets a ton of extra health. And let yourself into the church. I'm sure they don't mind. Ashley Graham! Head on to the right. I'm here to help! Grab the ammo, break the containers, get blue dial. Running low on space and you want to grab this stuff to sell later, which is cool. Just whatever. You can send your shotgun to storage, you won't need it. Grab that small key and do the puzzle. It's blue counterclockwise, green clockwise, red counterclockwise is fastest, but it really doesn't matter. Just, just line it up. green herb before you head up the stairs. Ashley, you in there? Containers. And take a breather. You made it. Check your storage, take care of anything you need to. You want to make sure that you build up at least another two flash grenades here. Once you have at least two, you can focus on TMP ammo. But do those first. Not going to save. We don't have long to go. We're going to save right before the cabin, and the couple stretches leading up to that are pretty safe. Let's get the hell out of here. So first back up to Ashley's room and get the yellow diamond hanging here. It really doesn't matter if these guys see you. up here. 
Don't bother with the expanded treasure there, it's just a token. Grab the flash grenade behind you. Up on down. Get the resources and the treasure back here. Stay close. Can you get this earlier? Sure, but it's on the way now. Since I have two flash grenades, I'm putting that into submachine gun ammo. Now, before we stab the nice old lady in the neck out here, we're going to duck back into this side room and use our small key that we picked up in the church. Get a bolt for it. They're coming. Get behind me. Oh god! What is wrong with these people? You should be able to just weave your way through here pretty safely. As long as you're running. Don't worry about Ashley, she's fine. Once you're under that arch, you're pretty safe. If you need to get someone out of your way, stun them with your TMP sweeper. I'm gonna say that a lot. Uh. Grab these containers and some new goods. Then welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Sell a couple things if you want. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. Rifle right. ammo, bolts. That's our choice to make. Extra small resources, the mines. Thank you. I'm gonna fix up your knife. That's good work, if I do say so myself. And that should do it. Gotta don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> get your shotgun back out of storage if you put it away. Okay, we're looking good. Lots of heals. We'll need those in the cabin. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks. Hey, can we take a break? Sorry, we need to keep moving. There's a new barrel in here to stab. I'm right out to the right. Again was right about the weather. Another new barrel. Uh, Extra treasure here. Uh, That's expanded. See the internal debate I've got going on. Decided to make some shotgun shells. I I probably will use them. Definitely want to stealth this guy and get all four barrels down here. And once we come out, we're gonna kind of take a little bit of a long way and then make a break for it. Uh, and trust Ashley's armor to protect her, so... Right past the bull, up the ladder. It's, we're fine. Everybody's fine. Ashley will catch up. Stun these guys if you have to, but otherwise just get past them. Next section, we're also just going to bolt for the merchant. Yeah, we're just going to leave that. You don't need it. Look for the brute. Loop around him. Once you get in here, you're safe. Check in with the merchant once more. We have it, Alexandrite, and 
yellow diamonds. We'll max out this necklace nicely. And could have done this earlier, but we're doing it now. Just rubies and the mask are good enough. Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? Sell those. Your See if we have anything else. Probably nothing new worth selling at this point, but we've got those. <laughs> that is going to put us over a hundred thousand, which will let us buy the next power upgrade on the sweeper before we go into See the cabin. How that feels, mate. A like yourself, you don't you know, need it for the cabin, but it's helpful. And then this is going to be our next save. Make sure everything is in place how you want it. Save four. I'm wondering what if am I right? And uh, watch for that guy around the corner when you come out. Even if you load your save, he's going to be there. You're going to grab the boards and do the window behind you first. I can give you some general tips, but this is just tough. So there's an explosive barrel out there you want to hit that'll slow down him on that side. So you can see my inventory is pretty full, but I'm at least smashing open the containers. Right window should stay pretty clear for a bit with the explosive barrel, but I got unlucky. Somebody decided to come in right away. You got this. I got this. <laughs> yeah, you do, Leon. Nice parry. Definitely want to stop people getting up if you can help it. You usually can't help it. Boards! Already! Nice. So, I usually go for the one by the stairs. Got unlucky, somebody was trying to climb in. it up. Get out of the way. So we're down to just one in entryway right now. That hurt. Eat some snakes, feel better. Got lucky again that I had the chance to stab that guy. did miss some resources on the fireplace there. It's unfortunate. Took another hit. We're okay. Oh, he had a bug in him. I was trying to melee that guy. Totally missed. If you need a breather... Running upstairs can help before you've boarded the place up. When it gets crowded, don't be afraid to switch to your heavier weapons. Try to conserve too much ammo, you'll just take too many hits. set of boards. Oh, in the back. All right. Another snake. Let's eat a snake. And an egg? Nah, just a snake. We're good. All right, this one's good. I see him heading upstairs again for another breather and reload. Grab the stuff up here. I am 
Oh, there was a parasite next to you, Leon. That one hurt. I don't like to use my last red and green combo if I can help it, but sometimes you can't help it. Let's see you climb this. Don't be afraid to go between upstairs and downstairs despite what Louise says. It's really okay. I'm just trying to rack up kills until the uh, brute shows up. Oh, Lee on your face. Let me stock up on healing items. Well, Mr. Window there. You don't get a lot of time on pro mode. Present for you. If you're not confident on your quick weapon swaps, just open your case and use that to change your weapons. Alright, so we're gonna lead with a grenade on the brute as soon as he gets inside. A little busy at the moment. Then we're gonna empty a clip into him. Whoops, did not mean to grab my shotgun there. Oh, and that's it. That's all he took. Grab the emerald before you run out. Okay, very soon. You get to leave. You did it. Good work. That will probably take you a few tries. We are going to save after this, but not quite yet. As usual, check in our storage to see if there's anything we can do between chapters for free time, but nothing this time. Moving on. Let's go. What's... what's gonna happen to me? Reload your weapons. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, right. Again, you want to try to have about two flash grenades at this point. Expanded treasure there for you. Grab everything outside. I've got some. Craft. New items in Inventory stock. looks good. Welcome. At this point, you should have two emeralds, so you can go ahead and put those in the banger and sell them. Every time I see a kitchen knife almost broke, I just sell it anyway. Rifle ammo, small resources. Don't need those. If your knife needs repairing, go ahead. Nothing else much we're gonna do here. Nothing we'll new for sale. Back anytime. So I save here. You could do the next little stretch and then save right before the Bella Sisters. That's up to you. I find the next little stretch a little dicey enough that I don't mind redoing it. But I after surviving the cabin, I just like to save. We've got so we're gonna come in quietly, but quiet. and on our left, take out this nice lady. And head to the right side, wait for this guy to turn around. And get up behind him. Once we've made it to the stairs, we're actually going to try to draw attention to ourselves. 
the diamond first if you want. But basically what we want to do is we want to get everyone coming after us. You usually can do that by triggering that woman. Guess we're doing this. Kind of want to wait. Make sure they're all running past you. Jump off, but stay on the right side or you'll land in the bear trap. Stay to the right, stay to the right, stay to the right. And through the door. Oh, you missed me. Once you're through the door, you're fine. There's a guy hiding just inside this little cabin. Almost always has a parasite in him. You got plenty of handgun ammo though, you're not using that very much, so just let it fly. If you wanted to do the other section before saving, you could save right here. You okay? Yeah. But I'm fine. grab the treasures and the chests and the barrels. Come on in here. Sure is quiet. Loop around the outside, grabbing your supplies. If you're quick enough and you time it right, you should be able to sneak up on this old lady. No, he heard that. Sometimes you can also get the drop on this guy. I did not. And watch out, because one of these guys usually likes to be a parasite. Shotgun shells. Yellow herb up here. And then carry on looting. the cabin. Oh, before you go back in, if you have the expanded, you want to shoot down that. Grab it on your way out. That's another spaniel that we need. Rifle ammo. A couple of barrels. There was an herb back there we got earlier. Don't forget that. I like to cut open this gate before I go in, just in case I need to come out this way, which I'm pretty sure I will. Come on in here. First aid spray, and ready a grenade. The last one. Okay, so, trigger the cutscene, throw a grenade, pull out your sweeper, unload until you stagger one of them. This is gonna be bright! If you can get in there for a melee safely, do it. Otherwise, you want to use a flash grenade and knife both of them. Uh, flash grenade, knife to knife damage? That does more than half their health. So if you do it twice on a sister, they're dead. I uh, did not get in the hit on the second sister, unfortunately, and the one you don't kill gets a health boost when you kill the first one. So at this point, you're just trying to fend off the hordes relatively safely. Come on. 
don't be afraid to run away if you have to reload. If you have armored Ashley, which you should, don't put her in a locker. She makes a great distraction. See, now at this point I know she should be almost dead. Ooh, tried to parry that. Did not work. We're fine. Everything's fine. Leon's fine. not going to be able to turn the crank without clearing out this camp, so feel free to burn through your handgun ammo, Shit. finishing all these guys off. Leon, she's fine. If you can't get enough distance, use your shotgun. Try to save the rest of your machine gun ammo. Are some hanging lanterns you can lure guys into, but it's a little tricky. Damn. Jeez, it's a lot of parasites. It's okay. We got plenty of handgun ammo. Yeah, thanks. We're not done, Leon. Jeez. And I got lucky. That parasite got just stuck up there. Don't forget the spinel on your way out. stretch is pretty straightforward so even though I'm sure that felt like an accomplishment we're gonna wait to save a bit your TMP or your handgun for this. I prefer the machine gun. Just better for stunning. Oh, lucky shot. Don't worry about that. Wait for these guys to come forward a little bit. Tap the barrel. All the enemies in this section have severely reduced health. So just get past him. This way. Listen, you're the one he wants. If we see him again, you run. What about you? I'll do my job. <clears throat> so yeah, loot everything out here. Breaks over, I suppose. Sure you didn't miss anything. Not enough to fill up that treasure yet, so we're just gonna Welcome. sell our basics. Well then, what can I do you for? Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, that's our sell that rifle ammo. Small resources. 
You don't need those. Unless you're desperate for shotgun ammo right now, which you shouldn't be. Good luck. Parry your knife. And you're gonna pump up the power and durability a little more yet. Anything else pleasant travel. And here we go. Next save. We're gonna start with kitchen knives equipped. But we want to make sure if we get the drop on Mendez that we switch to our combat knife. So here we go. Be careful. Immediately head left and climb up. You should have known you were one of your bugs. Clean off the rafters up here. Space to parry, control to evade, whatever your crouch button is. I like to start with the shotgun because he's slower and easier at first. If he says judgment, get on the ground floor, and then just climb right back up. You move quick, you're such a big bastard. Once he's down, again, switch to your combat knife, and do the stab. That had to have done something. Get back up top. time we're just gonna unload a full sweeper clip to get him down. And that should move him into phase two. We start with our handgun here. When he pulls up boards individually he's gonna throw them at you one after the other so just try to run side to side without running into the fire. Says something like that, he's about to pull up barrels. Don't miss. When he pulls up two together, do not run, just back up slightly. Again, don't back up into the fire, but hold your ground. When he gets ready to charge forward, that's when you're going to switch to your sweeper and start pouring it on even from back here if you want to use a flash grenade to put him in his place for a second your sweeper is what you want to use I should take him down the rest of the way he's pretty fast at that phase so highly recommend saving your submachine gun ammo for that Give my Grab his eye, make sure you didn't miss any other pickups down here. Head on out. This fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's get moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? Reload anything you need to, shoot down this treasure. Head on into the castle. Guys are so close to having our infinite ammo sweeper. You can just taste it. Okay, we do still want to keep a stock of flash grenades. We also want to have a couple of hand grenades on hand for a couple of skips. Should have. 25 spinels. Oh, you might have picked up one random land at a chest. I got it. Yes, please, I have got some new items in stock. 
<laughs> Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Feel free to empty out your inventory as usual. A deal well struck. Repair your knife. Good luck to you, stranger. Nothing else here we need. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> you can save there if you want. If you're like, hey, I finally made it, I killed Mendez. I don't find this next section terribly tricky if you do it right. So I prefer to get it out of the way before I save again. The next stretch between saves is like an hour long, so I like to put it off as much as I can. Because the, the first six chapters are so dicey, we burn a lot of saves there, and there's a couple of dangerous things at the back end that we want to save saves for as well. When that guy appears, just charge forward. You can usually get up against the wall and shoot this one before they get off a crossbow bolt. And being this close to the wall will keep you out of range of the other guys. Out of the way. Shoot down the medallion. Wait to get the cannon up. Shoot down this medallion. You know, there's a guy across the courtyard here we're going to antagonize from here. If you can kill him from here, great. But if not, it will start him running towards you. Otherwise, creep around the corner here. Get this zealot interested in you. Neat. Now I'm waiting to see if the guy I poked comes out. Maybe I can lure him into the catapult fire, but I decided he's taking too long, so we're going to take out that catapult. Press on. Keep the shotgun handy in case he shows up all of a sudden. The nice thing is that a lot of the guys in this little stretch like to go for Ashley first like that. And since she's so heavy, they just drop her. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. There's always going to be a guy on the stairs there. Feel free to burn through your shotgun shells in this section. We are selling the shotgun. When you come up here to this little bend, there will always be a guy that comes from behind. But again, likes to go for Ashley. So. And then usually one more from up top. Once you got those all cleared out, I'm good. Thanks. Wait for an opening in the catapult fire, and then dash across and behind this burnt up building. This gentleman here will almost always be a type two parasite. Don't take any chances with those. Those are insta-kills. Are you okay? Yeah. Take out that catapult. And now we're going to be ready to dash across. Watch for the guy coming out here. Just wasn't interested in me at all. That's that's cool. I'm gonna make a guy feel wanted. They keep coming. Resources on the window. Another medallion. Yeah, thanks. Get your catapult going. Cannon going. Firing again. use the cannon to take out the medallions, which I think is hilarious. 
down here because we still need to get the last medallion but it should all be clear now plenty of containers to loot medallion around the corner and a treasure. Pinching in on our last save, our, last, our next save. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Good job, well done. Deserves payment in kind. Ooh, what you buy? Buy your exclusive Which upgrade ticket. Will you be given a shine? And slap that thing so on the Chicago sweeper. Oh, you're an artist. Repair your knife if you need to. Stranger. Sell any non-combinable treasures. Ruby's Sell your submachine gun ammo, shotgun shells, and rifle ammo. You won't need it anymore. That's our choice to make. Also going to sell the shotgun. He's a good boy, but we're done with him. <laughs> Nothing new for sale that we need. If you are short by one spinial. There is one after the dungeon section coming up. That's not an expanded treasure. So we're gonna power ahead here. I must warm well. Clear out this room before we save. Just immediately run behind you. Down the stairs, take out the one guy here. And then that should help these guys all line up nicely instead of being so spread out. I just like to loot the room and unlock the door with Ashley before I save here. Come on. Okay. I need you to open it from the other side. Do not miss the yellow herb over in the corner. Over us, but that's save seven. All right, so let's just take through our inventory a bit before we carry on. Use up some of these large resources. We want to keep a stock of flash grenades, but we're going to start stockpiling rifle ammo at this point as well. So I'll take care of that. I did equip the kitchen knife here, but don't do that. Leave your combat knife uh, equipped. I forgot what was coming up. So just to address the uh, spinial situation, 
if you don't have the expanded treasure map and you didn't get any random spinial drops in the village, you're still going to be too short. If you got two drops, great. Go ahead and upgrade your sweeper. But if you got one drop, there is a spinial coming up after the Garador fight. and That's not too bad to do on your own. If you didn't get any, you're going to have to make it through the water room. And I'm sorry. Grab this ruby. Grab the treasure you saw me get back there. And you see, I'm trying to use my resources L as fast as I get them, but the game just keeps giving me more. And at this point, I don't have enough gunpowder. Grab your supplies as you carry on through here. What was that? Keep animals down here or something? As soon as you crash through, skip the cutscene. Make your way out. And as soon as you hear that music sting, just bolt for it. Get around the corner and wait. Yeah, see, I put my combat knife back on. After he charges in, get up behind him and knife him. Knife him and then flash grenade him immediately. Gotcha. After the flash, switch to your sweeper and pound him in the back. And that's it. He's done. The flash grenade does a ton of damage when his plaga is exposed. Feel free to careen through the room grabbing supplies. We don't really need a ton, but again, we are going to start trying to... We got to keep our flash grenades up, and we are trying to stockpile that rifle ammo for the island. <laughs> Ashley, you should see somebody about that. about the animals though <coughs> you okay I'm fine well for now there's your free spinial so if you only needed one yet that's where you get it come on in here shoot the two far ones on the left this one right here. Shoot it or pull it, your choice. The goal is to solve the puzzle before Ashley starts backseating you on it. I did not mean to pull that chain, I was trying to pick up the sword. What's that used for? Well, Grab whatever you find in the cupboard. Only a cupboard. And you should know the solution to this by now. But it's iron gold blood rusted. Going left to right. Got through it before Ashley started telling us how to do it. Huh. Guess you were right. All right. Second box here has a viper in it, so be ready to double stab. Put my kitchen knives back on for later. Grab your free treasure. The game gives you what you don't have, so again, do not this let your gunpowder and resources stockpile too much. Keep crafting with them as you get them. So use the far chandelier here to cross over. Don't even think about trying this yourself. Give this a yank, make sure Ashley starts running for the other one, and drop down and get your treasure. And then head right back up. Liam, 
on, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> Where are you, my mother? Grab that there. Skip the cutscene. I'm gonna come over here and unbar this door for later. Save you a few minutes. Yeah, get ready for your water room. Be careful. Pull out your pistol and use it to slowly take out these guys before you get into the room. Head on down the left side, grab whatever you like, but as soon as the fight starts, just press forward with your sweeper. So just keep the pressure on as they come up, and watch out for the... You gotta kind of divide your focus between enemies running at you and the ones shooting bolts. Which can be hard to hit with the sweeper, but do your best. Don't stay in danger health that long. Heal up right away. Be stupid. Even if you can just stun the bolt throwers, that's all you gotta do. And then check back on them again when you can. Take care of the crossbow guys on this side. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So head on down here. You can shoot these guys from the stairs before you jump down, but it's really not too bad. Just stun this guy, get past him. Once you're down here, you got a bottleneck. You can just take them out as they come at you. Most of these... Most of these are going to be type 2 plagas, but um, just keep the pressure on As soon as you put the wheel on this wheel thing, look up to your left. Bolt thrower is going to come in. And you can drop the stairs before this guy will jump down. Just take him out right away so he doesn't sneak up behind you. The best thing to do here is not really what I did, but you want to get up far enough to start triggering the enemies and then just go back down. Which is what I started off doing, but then I got impatient and went up the stairs. So just stay down here so you pretty much have taken care of all of the ones that are going to charge at you.
Yeah, we're not done yet. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Let's see, shouldn't have done that. Trying to hit an active bolt thrower with the red nine, not a good idea. At that distance, you're just gonna get shot. So, just keep the pressure on with the sweeper. Enough bullets will hit him to stun him. Once they're down, then you can switch to your pistol. Because the one in the far corner of the room can't see you yet, hasn't started firing, you're not close enough. And you got all the time in the world to take them down with very carefully aimed shots. And that's it. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. Come on, Leah. Feel free to loot as much as you like. I definitely recommend grabbing the red herb. stretch is pretty straightforward. We're not you can try using your red nine to uh, take care of the bad guys going after Ashley, but again, yet. it's spread is a little wide and, and slow and they're a little fast, so you're really just better off sticking to the sweeper throughout all of this. And as you see me doing there, keep an eye inside on, on how much gunpowder and resources you're picking up so you're using it as you're getting it. Hidden platform? A little over the top, don't you think? Say you want to keep about four flash grenades minimum on hand and the rest into rifle ammo. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I, I got this. They keep coming. See them coming from that window there, those are the ones that are coming for you. Be careful! Ashley's in no danger here, so protect yourself first, but you know, if she gets stalled, it's just time lost. You got plenty to spare. Better to lose a minute than take an extra hit that you don't need to. Prioritize yourself. There should only be about two waves that come at you, and then you're fine. Shit! Once she's pretty much in the clear, you can start running around grabbing your pickups. Just to save a little time. Here. 
That's the water room done and dusted. Over here. Okay. Seriously, Ashley, you should see a doctor. Alright, and end of the chapter. Like... And as usual, we can check out our storage, see if there's anything we can take care of. Oh, I got some herbs to combine. That's cool. We got some crafting materials we can take care of. Enough left for another flash grenade. Perfect. That gives us four. Looking good. And we're just about two hours in. Good pace. Right, loot the fountain here as much as you like. There's always three fish in here, usually two small, one large. Definitely grab the rhinoceros beetle. down that crow's nest not because we well if you still need a uh, spinial selling that will give you the rest of it and you can upgrade your sweeper now but otherwise we're just selling it because it's worth money Ruby's so we'll sell that no difference the price well that's our choice to make Done with submachine gun ammo and shotgun shells, magnum ammo, don't need any of that. Small resources, don't need those. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. Where would it come from? I'm going to put one of each square gem in the chalice and finally sell that. Decided to hold on to the gems for the crown just in case. No urgency to sell that, so. We are going to buy the body armor. Fix up our knife, and we still have enough left to put the next power on the sweeper. Alright, this next room, there's two ways you can do it. You're going to see me try to rush it, which sort of works, but I'll take a hit or two. You can also just trigger it at the door after you hop down here and just bottleneck them right at this entrance and mow them down until they're all dead. I think everyone will come rushing out except the two uh, two of them with the crossbows in the upper balcony. Uh, with the sweeper they can't get past you. You can just take them all out nice and easy. You lose a few minutes, but again, we have plenty of time to spare. So, blew up that barrel a little close to me. Oops. You don't want to let this guy get away, so if you start shooting him, keep the pressure on. See, he was trying to run there. Down, grab his lantern, grab the mirror, hop over the edge. You might get grabbed there, but hopefully, you're okay and bolt out. 
So you can do it that way, it's a little riskier. Again, don't be afraid to just bottleneck the entrance and mow them down instead. We are going to open the door here, come back for some treasure later. Expanded gem. And get ready to skip cutscene. Last person I thought I'd run to here. Head over to the left, grab the velvet, grab your three lithographs. and shape combos don't repeat. We need to do the icons so it should be able to figure it out pretty easily from there. And there you go, that's what it should look like when you're done. That should do it. Alright, need to find Ashley. And here we get introduced to Plaga Type 3, oh, spiders. Nice. But before that, grab a small key. Now, you may be wondering why I don't back up and use it in the room we just went through. Uh, we, just for time's sake, we have to miss one small key chest. Christ. And the choice is between the one in the room pre previous or the one on the battlements with the Gigante. And the one on the battlements is worth slightly more. So we're going to use it there. Welcome. Ooh, what you if you took any hits, tune up your armor or your knife. Anytime. Gonna shoot that down and press forward, try to stay out of range of the crossbow guys up on the battlements. We are going to severely shortcut this section. Now watch for the spider coming along the wall here. And the one behind the shield right here. After smashing these barrels, you're going to hold up against the left side of the wall here. And kind of just aim like this and shoot and pray for a little while, move around a little bit if you like, eventually you'll get lucky. You can also use a grenade to do that, but it's possible without a grenade pretty quickly, so I'd save the grenade. Come on up here if you like, you don't have to, but there is a gem and a yellow herb, so I can recommend it. Doesn't take very long. gate and once you start antagonizing the guys in here watch for a shield guy to come from the left and after those three are down check your left when you come in on your crossbow all right do not pull that switch under any circumstance switch to grenades toss one through right about there get you out and get ready to bolt another one you guys are really starting to become a giant pain hang left as you come through the broken arch here so you don't get grabbed keep on going zigzag a little here so you don't get shot hop on down right away pick out this guy Turn around, get the guy behind you. Yes. And press on. Cannon. Hope it works. 
This is the treasure I was talking about. She usually jumps down before you get to the ladder, but if not, watch for her when you climb up. Don't forget to shoot the cannon ballast on the second level. Hang out behind the barrier until the giant throws, and then go for the cannon. Get ready. Adios. Sometimes you get bad guys coming up behind you here, so don't linger too long. Open for traffic. Just press on. See, the cannon missed one of them, but that's not a problem. We'll just sweep them on the way. Piece of cake. You're ready to skip. And Sorry, I've had my fill here, guys. And that's another chapter over. Easy. Ashley, where are you? flash grenades, not enough gunpowder to craft more rifle ammo. Good enough. Time's looking good. Skip please. Leave that guy. Head into the maze. Probably, so just leave him, right? Shoot some birds if you like. No dogs laughing at me today. Left box has a viper in it. Be ready to double stab. Make sure they're down. Nothing like having one get up behind you. Get you back up against the wall here. Easier this way. There we go. Another dog jumping out of the hedge right here. Aim across to the left and get the one through the fence. And as soon as he's down, watch for the one coming over the fence. There you go. Get your uh, chessboard with only two pieces in it. Now you notice we skipped the flag at the start of the maze, that was on purpose. I'll explain that in a little bit, but that is probably the better way to do it. Hey, look! The flag's been lowered! Well, thank you, Ashley. The, the double camera focus wasn't enough. Take your second right, turn left, get rid of the pop. One of these might manage to parasite before you can take them all out. Don't trust him. Uh, the parasite ones have a lot more health. Just take that one out from across the way. Ashley. No problem. As soon as you do that, there's going to be a dog coming from where you came from. Be ready for him. Head on over to the next flag switch. Be 
careful. As soon as you get to the halfway point, you're ready for the little cutscene. Turn around and aim down. Get that one before he gets out of view. This one when he comes into view, wait for the third one. And as soon as he's down, hop down. And you should be able to get this one through the gate. And that's all four of them. Ashley is safe, so you can head on through the gate that was opened here. And we're going to backtrack a bit to get the treasure that we need her help with. If you do the first flag before this, it also triggers a dog attack. By saving that flag for after this part, we can just run away from them. Get ready for this knight to wake up. Come on. Hang on. And we probably already have enough spinels. Um, we want seven yet. It's but Thanks. it's there. Grab it. You got time before Ashley opens the door. You gonna sell that thing you got? Eventually, Ashley, settle down. So now we can pull this flag and just hop on down and bolt up the stairs and ignore the dogs that are starting to come out. Now we can finally get out of this maze. Ballroom must be this way. Treasure. Look, there's a statue up there. We'll go grab our three heads. Ashley gets the seat at the first table on the far right. Huh. The dining hall. Then you get the seat at the far left. At the second table. Leon! Looks like we figured it out. Grab the uh, dinner herb. And don't forget the snake head on your way out. Not that I've ever done that, but you know, just don't. Ready a flash grenade. Head into the art gallery. So, angle it. As soon as it's going to land in the balcony there, throw it and then run forward. And then just keep the pressure on here until all the guys are done and dusted. The one's on the ground floor, and if any got away, they'll eventually make their way up here. But you got time to loot this balcony area and grab the goat head. Watch out! straightforward when they line up like that for you. Alright, let's do a little looting.
the ones you definitely want to get are that yellow diamond. There's a flash grenade. Resources small aren't as important. My pockets are a little full because I got that large bass in them. And there's a green herb over here as well. Don't miss that. And then on the second floor, you just want to collect everything dropped by all those guys you mowed down, especially the gem. Now, if you're not carrying a big fish like me, you're probably good on space, and you can just carry on looping around to the night hall. But, uh... Since I'm a little full up, I'm going to make a stop at the merchant and sell a few things first. I have something I... Welcome. I got something new for you. Feel free to sell any treasures that aren't combinable. Do you much Done carrying kitchen knives. We're just going to use our combat knife. Handgun, ammo, and rifle ammo will keep. Small resources sell. So. Now we'll press on. One more head. Get whatever's in that cabinet. And this one. Good. Another knife. Just what I needed. Little gunpowder, get the small key, get the green herb. Don't bother shooting that down. It's a token. Don't need that. Up on down and get ready for the night fight. Ashley, stay up there. Just target them fast. Keep the pressure on. Aim for the parasites. The only ones that are really tough are the ones that have the parasite mostly sticking out the back. You might have to dodge around them. Shouldn't usually have to bother with the melee attack to take the helmet off. But, uh, sometimes you can. Feel free to use the uh, lion, headless lion statue to create a little distance if you need to. Yeah. Nighty night. Now loot around this whole room, you got, I don't know, like a 50% chance in my experience of getting a heavy grenade here, and we we do want to stockpile four heavy grenades for the island, but it doesn't look like I'm getting lucky here. I missed that I had 17 gunpowder there. I thought I only had 10. I could have crafted another rifle ammo. Ashley. Okay. Get your cubic device. And now we're, we're done fighting here. We're going to get a whole bunch of treasures. Oh, welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. 
unload our pockets again. I'll buy almost we are done with the Red Nine. You probably could have sold it last trip too. Stranger, please. So feel free to get rid of your handgun ammo and the Red Nine. You won't need it anymore. Yeah, I could have done that faster. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, nothing but the finest way. Let's go take the tram. You don't get car sick or anything. Hey, this is it. This may seem like a substantial detour for trying to be in a hurry. But it really doesn't take that long, and there is a lot of treasure this way, especially if you get the expanded map, because you get an extra crown there, and that's worth a lot. But even going back to this room up here, we're going to get a gem and two treasures. So you want to take the upper entrance here so you can get the drop on these guys. Just keep it on until that guy's down. He often has a Type 2 Plaga in him, but didn't this time. So now head over to the ladder, that's the only way up. So you can just bottleneck him there. Did not mean to jump down, was trying to grab the pesetas, but... Now we gotta wait for Ashley. So you can just hang out here until they're all gone. One day. do it. Collect your drops, use your small key on the left here, and then use the cubic device to get the justice statue. If you unbarred the lower door like I told you to before, you can just head out that way. Otherwise, you got to climb up and around to get out of here. And head on back. Come on. Hey. I think we made it. You might be itching to sell all your stuff. I mean, you can if you want, but we're going to have more after the Ashley section, so... We're just going to go ahead and trigger the statue and get to that. Pop you three heads in. take a slightly longer route with Ashley than you need to just because we want to give Leon a free rifle and might as well grab the treasures while we're on the way we will still do a little shortcutting you want to go speedy here but uh, you're really despite what the music tries to insist on Ashley can't get hurt right now so there's no tension just do what you got to do go ahead and open up the clock right away the combo in professional is 712 more commonly referred to as seven o'clock but we're not going down there just yet we need to lower the staircase in the library 
where Leon can't get up there. It also actually causes one of the knights to smash open a bookcase here and makes it easier to get around for Leon later. Set down your lantern, crank down the stairs, and then head on up and get your city keys. A hidden staircase? It must lead to a secret room or something. Crouch through for this treasure quick. Second key. Head back down the stacks. Just pop through that opening that was made for you there. Very convenient. And now we're going to head down to the crypt. boss. Don't even look behind you. You're fine. You're not scared. I am done with armor. So probably the best pattern here, again, you can't get hurt, but oh you don't want to get blocked either just to get slowed down. You're going to do the far left, close left, then close right. Uh, start with the far left and then work your way counterclockwise around the room. This pretty much how it works. So cross over. This one. And there you go. It's a pretty safe route even if you don't have armored Ashley. Stop here for some treasure with key number one. And then down here, you're just going to start at the back and kind of rotate the lanterns counterclockwise around the crypt. Scene. And as soon as you grab the emblem, you want to start running backwards because the camera is going to force itself forward, so you can't turn around with the camera. You just need to run away. <laughs> once you get to the stairs, you can swing it around. Actually, once you get up the stairs. You don't actually have to crouch there, by the way. The game will crouch, Ashley, if you just run into it. Bolt straight for the elevator. Again, your boss. Don't even look back. No need to. Up here, you're going to run straight along the left side of the wall and then just keep going straight till you hit the far right wall and then turn left. So, straight along here, cross over, turn left. I'll get you past every time. Back out, up the stairs. Before we put the crest in, we'll use our last key. Uh, 
that's key number four. going to be the end of chapter. I know it's been a long time and we're still not quite going to save yet because none of that was truly dangerous and we still got one little stretch we can do pretty easily. So again, checking out our inventory, we can craft a little more rifle ammo. We're good to go. Hang up on Ada, grab the treasures that Ashley left for you, head back into the library. I'll just make this quick, but the Golden Lynx is totally worth it, and we're going to make some use of this rifle here, too, so... gets in the way. Take him down if you have to. If you manage to knock him out of the way, just press on. He's not dangerous. Rotate to the left once there. Still out of the way. This guy's asleep. Get on in here. Got expanded treasure. Shoot this down. Tip it forward. some shopping. Now, the next section some new goods that might with the Novivi stores is not that dangerous. Uh, so if you want to do that as well and then come back and save before the double Garador fight, I don't blame you. It's not what we're gonna do, but so five colors in the crown if you got one. We're gonna put diamonds and barrel in the links. We're gonna put barrel and ruby in the clock. And we're gonna put sapphires in this guy. We're gonna get plenty of sapphires very soon. So it just leaves the butterfly lamp empty for the moment, but we'll be able to fill that up after we do the nobody store section. Welcome. I got something new for you. So, sell everything but the lamp or anything else you couldn't fill in. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Knives, ammo that's not rifle ammo, small resources, any of that stuff. Ditch it. So we got lots of cash now. Repair your knife or body armor if you have to. Finish powering up your Chicago well, sweeper. We've given this one all we have to give. And we're gonna start putting cash into the rifle, but first we'll do one more case up. Why not drop that then? We won't get the last one. Don't need it. But we'll get that one. There you are. As you wish. You can spend this how you want. Get an idea of your tastes. Depends on your available funds at this point. There's going to be Try some flex to it. Where would it pleasant That's what we got there. Swap our shortcuts around. Rapples. 
code and save. So as you come up here, knock this guy off the ceiling, take out his buddy. Fucking monsters. Uh language, Leon. So as we work our way through the ballroom, we're just gonna take it a little bit at a time. Keep our ears open for wings flapping, because that means we gotta be on guard. First thing we're going to do, grab the supplies, head down to the first landing on the stairs, and that's where we'll knock down a few bugs to start. Just try to keep your eyes up, ears open. Noises. You can move on down here and watch for these two to come out. one hanging from the ceiling right here. And one behind these shelves. There'll be some more flyers that pop up, so just stay here till you got them cleared out. Around the corner, get your treasure. Take out the one hiding, and be ready for a few more flyers. Sounds safe. You can drop on down, that'll trigger some more. And head on over here. It should be pretty safe to loot the center area here. Shouldn't trigger anymore by running around. stairs as soon as you have everything. The wall, he's not even trying to hide. Keep coming. Two right here. Duck into the side. One here and usually one right behind him. This time he was a little delayed. Get ready 
wait for another flyer or two when you come out. Sometimes they come up behind you. Sometimes you gotta stick out here. Yeah, I can hear him, but I don't know where he is. should do it. Grab any treasures you missed. Definitely grab this herb. Push the correct buttons. All that good stuff. And drop right on down here. Now again, if you're nervous about the Garador fight, you could wait to save until this point up to you. I just do it this way to avoid a lot of backtracking. But if the Garador fight goes sideways, you're going to have to redo the ballroom, which is also kind of tedious. We are trying to do the same thing we did to the other Garador. We're trying to knife in the back, flash grenade, and then a little bit of sweeper to finish off. This is complicated by the fact that there's two of them and that there's bad guys in the room. The key to dealing with the bad guys is to shoot at them when they are between you and the Garadors because the Garadors will run into the bad guys and start hacking them up for you, which is pretty nice. Uh, doesn't work perfectly. You gotta be prepared that they might just bypass you. But here you can see I was fortunate enough to get them separated. So we got the one knifed, flash grenade, which is enough to finish off that guy. Oh, got grab. Trying to get away. Don't want to just start firing wildly. So let's see if we can get our bearings. You got caught up on the guys down there. Let's try again. Oh yeah, he's gonna feel that tomorrow. Okay, that time it didn't work, because we actually killed the person we were shooting, accidentally. It's fine, we got plenty of heals. Yeah, a little bit of a minute to breathe here without too many bad guys down below, so... Let's try to get back here. Throw our flash grenade. Finish him off. Fire and blind, but we did it. Clear out any other guys who want to come in. Um, and that's that. Do some cleanup. I don't know what that guy was doing there. I didn't even invite him to my birthday party. Don't worry about being too particular about picking up everything in this room. You are going to come back through it again later. And we are hitting the point where we just don't need to pick everything up anymore. Alright, quick little jaunt through the sewers. On that herb. Scooch on by this guy, say excuse me. Talk about sticking the landing. Uh, 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 
So there's four bugs we're gonna go past. They're all pretty much always in the same spot. You can fire when you see the green of their eyes, or you can just fire if you have a good sense of where they're gonna be. First one's just gonna be to our left as we get up here. Up the stairs. And jump down and head left. Now the spikes, when you get to the rock, look for the next bug. Take a left here and you should see the nut next one. There we go. Turn right and the next one. That's it. Easy. Delicious fish. Oh, but it's but it's a delicious fish. But you guys, I'd rather have the fish than the knife. Of course, auto sort won't work if you have too much to put in there. So now I'm sitting here going, uh, where can I put this fish? There we go. Even if I were to sell it instead of heal, the fish was worth more than the boot knife, so. Grab your crown. That'll help us finish up upgrading our rifle. Sneak through here and grab the yellow herb. He's fine. Oh, give me a break. We have the box right here. There's treasure hanging. The extended hanging treasure by the merchant is a spinel. You probably don't need that I've at this point, new, but welcome. It's I've fine. got something new for you. Information. Is this is where we can buy the heavy grenade recipe. Like I said, we are trying to stockpile four heavy grenades by the time we get to the island. So we're gonna be looking to use the, our large resources with that. Got plenty of sapphires from the bugs. And get just enough to fill in the crown with one of every color. Welcome. What can I interest you in? So sell your treasures, your usual extras again. The price. Stockpiling rifle ammo, That's so we're not trying to make. sell that. Small resources we don't need. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you try Pick up the scope the there anytime you want. There, mate. Got a selection of good things on sale. Come back anytime. No, you forgot to repair your knife. You didn't you, you need to repair your knife. Welcome. And your body armor. Sheesh. Okay, we're this gonna finish powering up our knife. Our normal range of services for this we're starting to get an idea and of your taste. Bump up our rifle. Anything else more. pleasant travels. There we go. Okay. Now we're set to carry on. Next save. Save number nine. Now the way I have this save broken up, you're going to be doing the Verdugo boss. No, I don't want photo. You're going to be doing the Verdugo boss, you're going to be doing the double giant fight, and you're going to be doing the minecart section. 
you can adjust your saves differently if you want, but there just comes a point where you gotta power through. Uh, I like to save right before the Krauser knife fight, and this is how it looks for me. I did switch to the wolf tail here because while we won't be knifing the Verdugo, we will be kicking him. And that really won't make the fight a lot shorter, it just means we will spend less time damage stunning him with our sweeper at the end. We'll still have to go through three cryo showers to get him. So, almost always gonna have to evade right here. And then once you're through the door, evade again at the intersection. Power on, and then just make a loop right here. You, you're Ramon's lap dog. Get him all chilled up. Wait for him to finish flailing. Kick him. Grenade, and then just lay into him with your sweeper. Gone. Carry on. Grab your herb. If you got space, grab the shotgun shells. Just to sell later. Not because you need them. We're heading for the new open room on the right. You should have to dodge once right before the room, once in the room, and maybe a third time in the room before you get to the door. Okay, we definitely heard him come out of the tube there. Hesitated a little too long just to make sure I could see him. <laughs> He's still gonna run away one more time. I'm finally going to use my big fish, it's taking up too much space. I'm going to kind of hang out here until I can see him pop out somewhere. And there he is. One more kick, no need to use another grenade. And at this point he shouldn't run away anymore. And your sweeper should be enough to keep him stun locked so he doesn't attack. Now, if you didn't switch to the wolf tail for the melee there, you'll have to keep the pressure on longer, but again, the fight's basically the same. So we're going to go ahead and loot in this little area, and then the big room that we went through before. Yeah, trying to stockpile those heavy grenades. Once you have those four heavy grenades, you can go ahead and switch to stockpiling rifle ammo again. As long as you got at least four or five flash grenades and four heavy grenades. Then it's rifle ammo all the way. You are going to use two to three flash grenades in the upcoming section. 
At least, I suggest you do. Well, that's a chapter down. three hours. We're doing great. Why help me, though? Switch back to our deer antlers for the rest of the run. What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be Again, no Welcome. real need to switch even there oh, for that fight, something but new for you. I did it. Valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny each. Any comeback, any time. So I'll sell your junk and fix up your armor if you took some hits. You're ready to press on. A little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. So you heard, huh? Umbrella's done for. You don't need to worry about you didn't answer my question. What are you after? I just want to feel good about myself. Make amends. Or something like that. So, this section, we're going to move fast. Hop on down, hug the left wall. Head for the staircase. There should be one guy in your way. Just get him out of your way. Believe me, I know! Ready a flash grenade and toss it through the door. Quick knife attack will take most of her health. Finish her off with your sweeper. Then check the door. If you have a moment to breathe, hit the lever. Dr. Salvador is going to be right behind. Just keep the pressure on until he goes down. going to recommend <laughs> you don't do what I just did. Lose most of your body armor to some dynamite. Be a little more careful if you're going to try to take the gem from Salvador. That's going to hurt if we take hits in the, the double Gigante fight. So just bolt for the stairs here. Shoot down the gem. Ignore Louise. He's annoyingly trying to offer you free ammo for a gun you don't even have. Son of a bitch. Grab the dynamite. One down. Clear your exit. If it's clear, go ahead and dash this way and grab your treasure. And carry on. Louise can take care of himself. Watch for cave-ins. Did anybody not get crushed by that the first time they played? Because I sure did. Fell for it. So we're going to reserve one flash grenade each for these guys. That was very unlucky. Usually the armored one leaves you alone and pays attention to Louise. Um, 
on top of which my body armor was severely compromised because I took a stick of dynamite to the face. Usually you should be able to take down the unarmored one pretty fast between the sweeper and... Yeah, I'm staying focused. You stay focused. Between the flash grenade and the sweeper, the other one goes down pretty fast. And now you just get a... Try to not get cornered and constantly bodied here. But you work with what you got. Sorry! Keep our friend busy for me! Where do you think you're going? That'll buy you a little time. Do your best to keep away and wait for Louise to get back. Leon! Hopefully want to have the armored one by that place where Louise comes out. Once his dynamite's broken, he's pretty straightforward. I think we can get through here. How's it look? Feel free to loot the room after you send Louise through. You don't really need to, but it's there. the worst of it. If you get through Verdugo and the Gigantes in decent shape, you're good to press on to the Krauser fight, where we will save right before that. The minecart section should not give you any trouble. Of course they did. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. Sources down. Do you see any other way? Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you calling Sancho? If you're not confident to the minecart section, you should load it up on another difficulty, practice it. It does not change. We're in a hurry, right? Oh, by the way. What now? Hope you like thrill rights. part you want to wait to shoot until your crosshairs tighten. It's not always necessary. Enjoy this, it's like a vacation compared to the rest of this.
constant opportunities to reload, so feel free to use them. around this building and shoot the guy that you end up seeing straight on around this corner while pushing towards him. The guy inside's got dynamite, but if you're standing right about here, he's just going to throw it inside the building. And we'll grab the herb, grab the flagon. Get out of there. And you got time to grab this crate while you wait for Louise to catch up. All right, let's go. Oh, not this again. Ready on your left. Shoot the cart at least once. Carry these guys and then lay into his cart as much as you can. Reload, turn around. These two are hard to hit and they sadly will actually land their shots unlike a lot of the other guys. So if you take a hit there, don't be surprised, but it's fine. You can hit this barrel here. That will further damage Dr. Salvador's cart, which will really help, but it's not 100% necessary. So as you come out here on your left, just lay into his cart. If you got the dynamite for the barrels, that should be all it takes. Now you don't have to worry about him at all. You just focus on the other guys. If you didn't get the barrels, you might take a few more shots, but you can still dispose of him well before time is up. I've never seen those guys land a shot on the cart, but they're fun to take out anyway. Enjoy the lonely ride here. That's pretty much it. Look at how easy that was. You're tipping over. Dude, you can see where they dug up the bumps. As soon as you land down here, get your sweeper out, you look up and start shooting the nests. And look for at least one bug in the air. You get three of them from here. The fourth one's gonna have to wait. Make it if we circle around. If you hadn't parked your cart there, you guys, you could have gone through. Usually one coming across the chasm here. Camouflage one right there. Let's 
It's another one in the air that you can sometimes leave for Louise to deal with, but sometimes it gets around behind you. Definitely get the herb. This time, Louise was slacking. There's gonna be one, in, at least one in the air up here. I hate insects. Take care of them for me, would ya? How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Hey, I'm the Shoot brain. the last nest. You're the brawn. There's definitely another one up there this time. And there's three camouflaged in this stretch. There. There, and just around the rock. Good deal. Little alcove there. Shoot the barrel. Take care of another one. Another treasure. Me another one in the air as you come out here. It's the one on the path that we just shot, and then there's another one on the wall up here. And there you go. Alright, we are gonna take stock, repair everything. I see you and Good save. Stuff, I got something new for you. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's. <laughs> Thank you. That's good work, if I do say so myself. There you are, as you wish. That's about all I can do for this weapon. Come back any time. Remember to reload your rifle every time you upgrade the ammo capacity, just so you're not wasting inventory space. Here we go. Save number 10. Stand around and wait for Louise. Pretty much as soon as the doors close here, you can skip cutscene. Are you being controlled by that cult? Oh, this is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Always, always melee Krauser when you can. Two good melees are gonna get this fight over pretty quickly. sure to keep your health up. Plenty, plenty of time. 
that's that's almost two and a half hours to spare yet. We will not need it. Huh. You won't get away with this, Krauser. Right. There are two green herbs and a red herb scattered around here, so be sure to pick those up. Head on up. Get ready to hang up on Ada. No, no, just wait for her to call, Leon. There you go. And take a breather. I know you want to rush ahead to the clock tower, but we're going to take a minute and go visit the throne room. This room should be empty when you come through it the first time. Won't be when we come back. But just head on up the ladder, head to the end, and jump down. It's the quickest way around. The room where we fought the two Garadors will not be empty. If you have a flash grenade, I recommend tossing one into the middle because there's a lot of parasites running around. It usually won't get all of them, but it will help thin it out. Nice and easy. So, flash grenade, step around to the right, take everyone out. Not too bad. Another ornate necklace here. It's expanded treasure. You do not have to do this. I do it just on principle. <clears throat> what we do need here is this. Head back. This room should stay empty this time. Craft our fourth heavy grenade, that's nice. So everything else can go into flash grenades or rifle ammo. We won't need quite so many flash grenades going forward. Now the bugs have respawned in this room. So just keep an eye out on where I'm picking them off here so they don't surprise you. You don't have to take that one out, but I find it easier to approach this one here instead of coming around this tight corner and come from the wide corner. And that should be all you need to do to get back to the door. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Yeah. So... Put some gems in. Put some sapphires in this. Good stuff, mate. You don't want to. Stuff, stranger. Got yeah. some rare things on sale, stranger. I'll buy almost anything. 
Thank you. Go ahead and repair your stuff. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. If you ever get to the point where you look like you're just not going to have the heavy grenades in time, which is possible, um, don't be afraid to buy the large resources from the merchant. There's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Same thing if you get to the regenerators and you feel like you haven't stocked up quite enough rifle ammo. The game will give you the gunpowder if you're using it. Charge ahead here, right up to this wall, and that'll stop the crossbow from getting at you. And take out these guys as they come down around the corner. Should be four of them. Take out the crossbow. I'm gonna head back down and get the ground floor treasure. Not really necessary. Also, it's on the other side of the room. It's not over here. I always get confused. Just before you get to the next landing, stop. Blow up Salazar's head. Go around this part and get the treasure. The clock tower is not terribly dangerous, but you also want to be careful. If you die here, you gotta refight Krauser. As soon as you step onto here, watch for a guy to be running up. Take him out right on the stairs. Hop on up, and to the right, there's one throwing axes. Maybe deal with them before smashing the barrels. Right there. And take care of the ones coming around the corner. Here you're going to get the cutscene for the iron spiky ball. Uh, that is an instant kill, so don't take any chances with it. Just wait it out. You're not in that much of a hurry. You really know how to make someone feel welcome. As soon as it rolls by, stay to the far right here, because the first person likes to be handsy. But get in this cage as quick as you can, and take care of the one throwing bolts. You can use your rifle here if you want. I prefer to just keep the pressure on with the sweeper. It works. However, I will switch to the rifle for this guy here. And there we go. That should stop the... Iron balls for coming down on us. Clear the rest of the way. So once you get up here, throw the lever to take care of those coming after you. At least the first group of them. And you got enough time to grab the two treasure chests here if you need them. But before we get on the elevator, we're going to climb back up to the lever. As soon as you pull this lever again, you're going to run for the elevator switch. If you activate the elevator fast enough, the iron ball will kill the red hooded 
lift. Gunado, or cultist. Right there. He got crunched. Uh, before he can come around to this cage and start causing trouble. So, very useful. If you don't do that, you gotta deal with his headaches. Keep an eye on your sight lines here. People hopping on the lift aren't really dangerous because you can knock them down pretty fast. The only ones that are really a problem are the, the ones with crossbows. And even then, your body armor is in good shape. So it's not too much of a problem. Here, you're going to be looking for another guy in a red hood. Get him down before he can start causing problems. Not really much to this, just keep your eyes moving, keep the pressure on, You'll be at the top before you know it. And head on out. these guys out from across the way. Do not run on the rickety platforms. Leon will warn you about that. Shoot down your gem. Watch for this guy to come up. There, especially the first aid spray. Tidy up your case, craft if you need to, so we get enough grenades. Might get another flash grenade if we get some more gunpowder next. Treasures we want to combine. Yeah, let's do that. So, it doesn't really matter for sure what you do here, just two and two clock. Try to do a red combo, boost the value a little more. Welcome. Saving the diamonds for later. Could have put them in the necklace. But, yeah. I'll buy almost anything. Fix up anything that needs it. We're good. Nothing to need for sale. Go ahead and save here. It's not that Salazar is dangerous with the golden egg, but if you miss your throw, then he is. So, just to be safe. Flash grenade. Feel good about that. 
Go ahead and equip your egg before you head in. So just walk forward with the egg ready. Toss it. He does like to float to the right a little, so don't aim too far left. Once you hit him with the egg, just... that's it. If you want to, you can clear out the barrels on both sides. You got, you got time. We're, we're heading to the island with over an hour and a half to spare, probably two hours. The island does not take very long. Ashley, no time to lose. Take a breather. Take out Krauser from here. Krauser. Save myself a lot of trouble. Taking her. All right. Remember in pro mode, there's some knights down here. Catch them before they catch you. For the boat. Chapter done. Won't have to swim after all. Inventory looks good. Three twenty-eight. Yeah, we got two hours to spare. Plenty of time. Probably only take an hour. You can do this section stealth. It's possible. It's also kind of a waste of time. There's really no need to when you have the sweeper. Hop up here and switch the gun. And just tell everyone where you are. Damn it. of the turret to the left, you pretty much guaranteed that everyone's going to gang up here. Push forward a little if you want to, but pretty easy to line up a shooting gallery.
Be sure to take out that guy with the crossbow. He won't rush because he's behind the machine gun. But he will shoot at you if you climb the ladder first. Treasure for you. That guy was on fire, but I knew it would pass, so. Should be pretty much in the clear as far as soldiers here go. Work your way this way and switch your last gun over. And then walk on back. You should know this route pretty well by now. One of these guys is usually a Laga Type 2. Just be ready for it. This guy too a lot. Yep, there he goes. We're gonna try to do the upstairs a little stealthy to start. Not 100% a requirement, just makes it a little cleaner. Stealth killed the last one in the caves. I got lucky. He was turning around and it still let me kill him. Grab yellow herb. Make loud noise. Get treasure. Head back to the exit. To the exit. There you go. The noise usually attracts these guys, so be ready for them. These two shielded ones and a helmet. And switch to your rifle. Deal with the rocket launcher. There's two guys with crossbows up on the bridge. We're going to go through the tunnel and take them on from the side instead of from a distance. Those guys weren't playing. It's nice if you can get them to come forward a little bit first. Easy enough. Now we have about 180,000 pesetas and plenty of treasure in our pocket. If you're running low, don't feel like you have quite enough at this point, you can duck down to the right, clear out that section and grab another crown, but it's not necessary, especially if you've been using expanded treasure map. Just uh, go ahead and let yourself in the side door. He is under the mat. Head up the stairs. 
upstairs. Say hello to the doorman. One down. It's a nice little pirouette he did there. That guy is now a red mist. And finish the last one. ammo. If you jump down here instead of running off, you recover quicker to be ready to shoot at these guys. Just to your right, as soon as you pop through that door, should be another one straight across. All of these guys, make sure they're down and dead. They're not going to pop back up behind you as a parasite. That would be bad. There should be four of them in this section. Sometimes the guy with the taser is in the kitchen area. So just make sure you got all four of them. Through here, around the corner, there's a dumpster with a hand grenade. Go forward a little bit, then just turn. Take the velvet glue. Never even saw that guy coming. Get the bass out of the fridge. It's, I'm sure it's well preserved. You don't have to shoot that down, you probably don't need any more spinels. You could buy a red barrel with your spinels to increase this value, but it's not really necessary. We have more than enough money at this point. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Ah, I'll buy it at a easy. So we got enough for our assault rifle exclusive before the regenerators, which is what we wanted. It's a veritable work of art, and we have enough to buy the rocket what launcher at the end. We literally only need money to repair our knife and body armor the rest of the run. Which we will pick up plenty of. And we are going to do our next save. Okay, and I just want to note that the if you wanted to, you could do the stretch from Salazar all the way up to the Krauser fight without a save. The regenerators are really not that dangerous, and you could use that save somewhere else that you feel comfortable with, but for me, psychologically they're intimidating. I, I just prefer to save before the regenerator section, so power switch. There is no need to open that gate the way we're going to do this. And we're going to duck into this side room here on the left just because there is a first aid spray. You really don't need any treasure anymore. There's a little 
gunpowder that I grabbed. So the solution for the first door is three, two, two. Since we don't have the biosensor scope, the first two regenerators, we're just going to pure damage down. They do have a threshold at which they'll pop no matter what, so that's what we're going to do. The trick is to kind of keep them stunned by breaking their limbs, and if they get on you, just stab them. Your knife can get them off you. You can see you do not take much damage from that attack. So it's really okay, they're not that dangerous. Keep the pressure on. If you see a parasite, you can try to get it. <laughs> the sweeper's not great for that. And just they turn fast, but try to try to not be facing them so that when they leave. But yeah, you see there, just eventually they pop. So not super dangerous, just kind of intense. Hop back here and switch the power over. It is nicer to have a little more space to fight these guys, so we're going to trigger the second one early. We'll stick our head in the freezer and shoot the bag and lure them out here. Right about here should give you enough distance to work with and hang out. Okay, he should be out here by now. What's going on? Okay, that is the second time that has happened to me playing this game. We're doing this where you trigger him early and then ducking out. He has just disappeared. So, didn't do that on purpose, got lucky, uh, probably won't happen to you. You just take the second one down the same way you took the first one down. Again, not terribly dangerous, just intense. Keep the pressure on. Two guys down here, one of them at least is usually a parasite, take care of them, that'll usually attract the attention of the one in the next room. Spin around down here and grab the yellow herb, again you're, you're done getting supplies and treasure, you really don't have to, I don't know why I shot this down, it's just a token anyway. You don't need it. I am going to loot this room just because I'm looking for rifle ammo uh, and healing items. And I'm also going to break a lot of glass just because I'm a vandal. There's, there's nothing in there. Stop breaking. It's just... Okay, it's fun. I get it. sensor scope on your assault rifle and now we're gonna just take out the four regenerators in here I know you can figure out which one has the wrench and go for that one but you don't want these guys popping out from explosions 
when the card's being written, so you've got the rifle, just take all four of them out. You can see it's not hard. the room with bullets until your card's done. section stop stop grabbing stuff from the boxes you, you don't need any more things yeah all I'm doing is wasting time here I do not need these pickups but you try not picking stuff up it's not easy the end of that chapter. Storage is looking good. Plenty of time left. Grab that treasure. I know it's right. Th Stop going in the boxes. Look. You don't need any more money. Stop. Just, just go. You're unbelievable. You got it. Duh. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Master of unlocking. Yes, yes, you are. Don't need that. Don't need these. You're just wasting time. But whatever. You got time to waste. It's cool. Something I think you will. So, oh, I've got clear your inventory out. You, I'll buy almost anything and uh, repair anything that needs it. A deal well struck. <laughs> Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That anything else I can help you with. We're not going to get the last case upgrade. Come you don't need any it. Time. And we're not... A little late to say this, but we're not doing any glitches, any skips like that. In-game stuff only. So, I know you can skip the double doors there and circumvent this whole section. So, there's three guys down here. If you're lucky, you can stealth kill some of them, if not all of them. If not, you know what to do with your gun. Oh, yes!
a lot of parasites in this section, so when a guy goes down, make sure he stays down before you move on. Yeah, no big deal. <clears throat> Take out these four. Like I said, a lot of parasites. Hold this down. Okay. Ashley's on door duty. As soon as you come through here, take care of the two right in front of you. You're lucky Ashley will get away enough to start running towards you, but sometimes you gotta go in the room to help her. Shit! Carry on. Yeah. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. And watch for the guy at the top of the stairs. He likes to throw an axe right away, and he's usually a parasite. at the top of the stairs. Quite a few of them usually have type 3s in them. Easy enough. Like I said, nothing truly dangerous in this section. Pretty bad. You Just okay? the regenerators are intimidating. Yeah. Before this would have killed me, though. Okay. We go at the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah! That takes some getting used to. You might have to be pushing it earlier than you think, but you'll get it eventually. So, pull your rifle back out. Get ready for your first Iron Maiden. Bring it, you freaking monster! Make sure to reload while it's regenerating and morphing. What the fuck? Once you see the parasite in the head disappear, get out of the way. Jeez. That's it. Cuddly bastard. Ashley. You got two options for dealing with the next section. Uh, when the regenerator falls down, you can either aim to your right and try to take out the guy who's going to harass Ashley and then run for it across the bridge, or you can take out the regenerator. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. You're, you're good at turning a wheel, Ashley. That, that's not something to brag about. So yeah, you're going to switch the power, there's going to be four guys that run up behind the bars that you can shoot down, but then when the regenerator gets triggered, there'll be a, a fifth one who's going to stop Ashley from holding the bridge open. So you can either try to take out that fifth one and make a break for it, or you can just take out the regenerator. Your choice, and that might depend on how much rifle ammo you have left. If you take too long going for the fifth one, the regenerator is going to get you at least once. So I'm going to go for the rifle approach you okay? yeah. this time, but I'm fine. both are viable. Got him. Wasted a lot of ammo, but that's why we stockpiled it. And now we're safe to carry on. Again, do not need that treasure, but you try just leaving it there. It's not easy. Thanks. 
Okay. Combo for this door is two, one, zero, two. Stop off at the merchant and repair anything if you need to. Welcome. Ooh, what you buy? Good luck to you, stranger. Don't get yourself. Switch to your heavy grenades and hop on down. Don't catch Ashley. If you just run straight for the crane, you can skip the cutscene of them inspecting the wall. It won't even trigger. I is done. Every time. So, throw two heavy grenades at the wall, and then just get ready to defend your position for a minute. Watch out behind you, there's a guy with dynamite. I'm going to highly suggest you make sure he's actually dead. Because look, he's not dead. And now he threw dynamite at my feet, and there goes my body armor. Not a big deal, but just stupid. Make a break for this and trigger the elevator because it takes forever. And then you can mow down whoever's left. Don't don't need that stuff, but I think you might have found you got time. Grab the yellow herb and then go inspect the big amber to move on. Settler, you bastard. Clear these guys out of your way however you want. You can take them all the way out or you can just put them into chaos and run through your choice. There is a guy up to the right who might come down, so keep an eye out for him if you stick around. Otherwise, bolt through the tent, get to the merchant, and prep yourself for battle. Hello, stranger. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Hmm, nothing to sell. Almost anything. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Come back any time. You can put your uh, biosensor scope away. Put your regular scope back on. You're you're done with that. I. And we're gonna save. Save 13. All right, let's take on Krauser. Stay ducked until he's done firing, and then just lay it on him. If you can keep the pressure on enough, you won't even have to you parry. Who knows what's become of the girl. A lot of healing pickups in this area, so we're going to try to grab them as we go through. Grab 
I don't want. Oh. You know, I bet this would go better if Ashley was here to help us. She is really good at this stuff. Can't believe she bragged about that. You remember the fight in the jungle? We barely so made it out of Obviously alive. duck under here. Go with your run guns, straight think. ahead. You know, first thing you and me. turn around right away. Sloppy, you're the one who got hit in the face with bullets. So, come around this corner, trigger the bear trap, and get ready to aim up. You can just duck behind the wall, but it is faster. He gets out of the way faster if you just shoot him. Ready your grenade, toss it over here, that'll circumvent having to go down both corridors, and take out the turrets. Remember? So, how come? Bear trap. Shit. Gun. Keep to the far wall. Stop at about the torch here. I love a good Wait. Time. Press on. Still alive, huh? Grab the herb and make sure you use the left side of the stairs as you climb up. Before you walk in here, if you want to try to set off a few of the traps before you go in, you can. I'd be dead if I kept listening to people like you. <clears throat> the Reaper comes for cowards and careless alike. Then here we go. Just run and duck. Guess I'll ask when I see him. Got lucky there. Well, you've really gone all out for me. You shouldn't have. Anything to make a pretty boy feel Swing bad. wide here. Watch out for that bear trap. Once he ducks down, he's going to stay down, so... Take out that. And then just approach the stairs. Carefully, once he pops up again, stay back till the grenades explode. When you go through the door, you're gonna head into the left and behind the pillar. This is it, soldier! If he ever throws a flash grenade in here, be ready to hit duck. You're really doing this? It's not too late. Melee when you can, but heal when you have to. Keep the sweeper pressure on when he's at a distance. That should end the fight pretty quickly. Coming around this first corner, you can parry this. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> it works. It's fine. It's a minor hit. So that's your true power? Oh, I'd ask for a recall. There's no point to hitting him there, I just do it on principle. So once you hop over this thing, be ready to duck again. You're not getting away! I'm not trying to get away. I can't wait to see you try. As soon as the cutscene's over up here, be ready to duck again. And whip around and start sweeping him. You can parry some of his attacks, you can dodge others. Do your best, but keep the sweeper pressure on. When he has his shield up, try to hit his feet instead. Melee him when you get the prompt. But don't be afraid to burn through your healing items, this is really the last roadblock. If he jumps up to here, that's not a cutscene you can skip, but you want to get on a ladder right away. 
that also means he's getting pretty close to being done. Nothing. And there it is. Thank you for the knife, Krauser. I will. I will treasure it forever until I sell it. stretch coming up. Chapter 16 doesn't count. Look at 404. 404 to basically do one more chapter. Uh, hour and a half left. That's plenty of time. We're doing great. We have two saves left, and the next two combat sections aren't terribly bad, but just because we don't want to have to do Krauser again, we're going to Welcome. use one of those saves right here. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Just clear out your inventory Ruby's like usual, Ruby's repair anything no you need to. Thank you. Easy work. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the Come back good shape. Time. So kind of head straight across here behind this part of the box and just wait for Mike to show up. Occasionally I've had somebody come around the corner during this stretch. Just gotta be careful. Once Mike starts doing his thing, help him finish off anyone he missed. first stretch here you just kind of line up so that anyone coming from the left is in the same line as people dropping down there and give Mike a hand your priority is going to be the ones that are closer of course but basically once you get enough kills he'll open up the way forward That is Leon's line. Uh, Mike, get your own catchphrase. right about here. Okay, you can see the tower, but don't put yourself in the line of fire. Wait for Mike to take it out. Sometimes there's a parasite guy right here. But I'm fine. Grab the first aid spray. When you climb the ladder, there is a green herb off to the left. I was pretty good on healing items, so I just left it. Come forward with your heavy grenades and trigger the cutscene. After the cutscene, throw your last two grenades up here. That was our that was our four heavy grenades we needed. Good stuff. All clear. Watch the towers behind you after that. And basically, you're just going to spend a little time here helping Mike thin out the crowds. You can press forward to the door like right away 
but then you get guys on your back and your front, and you're not in that much of a rush. So, take some time. feel like you've got a pretty decent lull, go ahead and hop down. Watch out for somebody taking this tower here. And press on forward. Get the guys coming out of the gate. And swing to the left. You can take out this guy right away. One on this side. Make a bolt for the ladder. If you need another green herb, there's one back there to the left first, but not really necessary. Yeah, somebody usually uh, remounts the turret across the way there, so watch out for that. I forgot. Sloppy. So your priority is taking out anybody who comes up the ladder first, then try to deal with the ones across the way. Your sweeper should be able to get through the armor enough that you can take that guy out. I knew it. Once that's clear, you can go ahead and run for the lever. That'll trigger some more guys. <laughs> Including the Brute. <laughs> we got Brute, we got Cocktails, we got Dynamite. Just watch yourself. Body armor will let you take a few hits, but you're serious. No need to be sloppy either. <laughs> Once it's clear, head across to this ladder. second switch. Now you just do whatever you gotta do to clear a path to that door. You do not have to take everyone out. I did not see that one coming. After the cutscene with Mike here, there's going to be four bugs in the air. Make sure you get all of them. Get in! Thanks! We get out of here, drinks are on me! I know a good mom! I'll make sure. Here we go. 
four. The next section, there are three bags you gotta avoid. They're the only ones that move. One in the opening area and one in the cooler. I don't know what you wanna call it. What the? So just hang on the inside there. You're safe. Get through here. Just kind of watch where I'm going, and again, avoid the bag the bags that move when you get close. Don't touch them, don't smash anything near them, and you're fine. Watch out for that viper. In fact, I'm just going to snack on that right away. Easy. So these guys are all safe. It's the one in the middle of the room there you got to watch for. around. If you mistime it, you can always do it again, but you're fine. You did it. Cool. Uh, welcome. Ooh, what you buy? Picks up your stuff. Work if I do say so. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> okay, starters, hidden bug right here. And switch to your rifle. And we're gonna take out the three crossbow guys. Who are amazingly good shots. So there's one there, there's one over here. Ashley. Oh. Ow. They keep coming. And then there's another one even further off, but he won't even be trying to hit you yet. There we go. There's a bug on the other side of the far pillar here. Archway that you can knock off. Might be a little hard to see there, but we got him. When you come up here, just before you go in, there's going to be two more bugs. One right there. And another one's going to come on your right. Loop around the back. Wait for the rocket to safely hit. And then poke your head out with your rifle. Take this guy out. Switch to the sweeper. Take out the brute. Now, if you have two flash grenades, I'm going to recommend you use them both. I didn't, and I should have. So you're going to run up here, throw a flash grenade through the window, loop around the stairs, and then use another one where I did use a flash grenade. But you kind of see it went sideways. Because I didn't stun anyone, and I should have kind of beaten around. I mean, not a big deal. My body armor took most of it, but it wasn't necessary either. So get another flash grenade ready. Door opens, toss it. Stab the brute. Get in. This guy is always a type 2 plaga, so be ready for that. Switch the gun. Switch, switch, switch the gun, and then then you've got a pretty good bottleneck to work your way out. Just keep the sweeper on. Take out guys as you carry forward. Be careful going through these double doors. It's probably better if you let someone else open them for you. But I always get impatient. And that could have been a bad hit. The shield guys get so close you can't get their feet. Go up and aim for their head. Make sure anyone behind you is actually dead. At this point I'm going to make a break for it, but no need to play it dangerous if you don't want to. You can just stay there until everyone's dead and then move on. You got time. I, I'm just switching the gun because it's fun. Oh, 
Well, that's it, guys. We, we won. There's nothing left except the escape. Ashley. Ashley. Alright, so enjoy your uh, hold forward simulator here. Ugh. Laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. I don't think you read the fire instructions, Leon. What if there was a fire? Unbelievable. good books lately. Oh, I'm gonna go make a sandwich. put on your sandwich. That's what I want to know. I suppose now's a good time to just mention that, you know, if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, good. I'm happy. I don't need you to do anything. shoes back on. We're grandmas. Time to carry on. So you definitely want to make sure you have enough space in your case at this point. Oh, plenty of time. 420? <laughs> you want to make sure you have enough space in your case there for a rocket launcher. If you don't, you can send your uh, your rifle to storage, but line that up just to speed up things here. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. You're getting good at that. Sure you're okay. Uh, never been better. Good. Look at this place. That woman who helped us. You think she's all right? Oh, I'm sure she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Some bug there. Oh. Hey, wait, Leon. Oh, you just. Come faster, Ashley. Come on. Hop over here. Two more hidden bugs. Now, if you want to save before the Sadler fight, you can. I like to save before the jet ski escape because that's a little more dicey for me. And it, Welcome. frankly, if you miss Sadler with a rocket launcher, sale, you kind of deserve to Why do all that combat stuff act. again. A new gun. Not my place to save, really, but but if you're nervous about it, save here. Over. Just means that every time you want Perry's to, if you if you gone. mess up the jet ski, ski escape, every time you redo it, you're gonna have to redo this part as well. If, if you miss that shot, you got bigger problems. Don't worry if he doesn't react right away. He has to land first. Finally, look at suits you, Sadler. 
I'll just be ready to crouch under a couple tentacles. I need to cut the stage short. It's not me. It's you. Should get Ada's cutscene before that third one even lands. And one more rocket launcher. Skip the cutscenes. At 14 saves, I like to use my last one here. Because really on the jets the jet ski you get two hits. And yeah. But again, you know you better than I know you. Spread your saves out however you want. These are just my suggestions. We're not out of here yet. State of the inside here. Hammer the action button when you get up to this ledge. Hold the left side of the door first here. I went in a little too early and got knocked back a bit, but just don't be in that guy's path so he grabs you. They're nothing now their master's gone. It's over. Head for your jet ski. You got about a minute to make it out, so you're gonna have to accelerate pretty much the whole way. There's only two corners where I'd recommend letting off the gas. But basically, you should have this memorized, so. So, right here, let up for just a second as you thread that second archway. And then right here, I let up for just a second coming around the corner. here you're in pretty good shape you hold left coming around that block you'll clear this and make another ramp and then it's basically a straight shot out and you did it congratulations So yeah, I mean, adapt this to your playstyle. As you can see, there's so much time to spare. If you need to loot more early on, you need to play a little more safe early on, that's cool. You need to redistribute the saves a little bit, go for it. But this is very doable. And uh, don't be afraid that if some stuff goes a little sideways, you can recover. The game gives you what you need. But you can also just reload a save and try again until you're comfortable with how it went. That's okay. As you can see, I, I took plenty of hits and uh, still finished with lots of healing items and plenty of time to spare. Well, good luck if you try this yourself, and uh, let me know if you got it. Take care, everyone.